Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Amber and I'm glad you've joined me today for my Would You Rather tag. I was tagged by Gina at Gina Pearson, my good friend out in California. And um, I'm not sure who originated this tag um, series. It might have been Sandy with Let's Get Fit by Sandy. Um, but let's get started. 10 questions, would you rather? Uh, number one, a book. Would you rather read a book or watch a movie? Uh, for sure, read a book. <laughs> I'm not really a huge movie fan. Hubby is, but I'd much rather read the book. Um, number two, would you rather be your first love's second choice or your second love's first choice? Well, that's easy. I don't want to be anyone's second choice. So second love's first choice. Number three, would you rather see the future or change the past? That's kind of thought provoking, isn't it? Because of course, we all have things about the past that we would like to change, but seeing the future, hmm. The only caveat, caveat to that would be if we see the future, we already know what's gonna happen and that's kind of boring, isn't it? So, that's a 50-50, that's a toss up. Um, hmm. I suppose I would wanna see the future. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Somehow you have to just have peace with your past and move on and not worry about that. Uh, forgetting those things that are behind, right? Like the Bible says, pressing forward. Uh, number four, would you rather be with someone rich and boring or poor and interesting? <laughs> that's that's an interesting question. Um, I don't know. I think I'd, I I want to say I would choose poor and interesting because what kind of a life is a boring life? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like life would be more fun if the person was interesting. So I think I would choose that. Be careful what you say, what you ask for. <laughs> Number five, would you rather have a maid, a chef, or a chauffeur? That is very easy for me because I have always <laughs> said if I could have any one of these, I would choose a chef for sure. I have been cooking since I was like 11 years old and basically could reach the stove because my mom was a night nurse and um, so... My sister and I learned to cook very early on for the family. Um, and so I've been cooking for a lot of years, 40, oh my goodness. Stop counting, Amber, 40 years. <laughs> yes, so I would love a chef. I said, I, I don't mind cleaning toilets and that sort of thing, but yeah, sometimes I lack ideas, I suppose, for a recipe. Number six, a soulmate or a life partner? Really not sure what the difference on that is. Um, but I suppose a soulmate. Um, number seven, would you rather receive $4,000 a week or $1 million now? <clears throat> and that's an interesting question. Um, I saw on Gina's uh, video that Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life, my good uh, Floridian buddy here, um, she said... Uh, she was pointing out the benefits of getting a million dollars in one <laughs> chunk of change and that you could invest it. And I have to agree with her. I think I'd go with that one. Because, and then also, you don't know how long you <laughs> would live. Well, that sounds a little morbid, but yeah. Number eight, would you rather have eternal wealth but mediocre health or outstanding health and poor? Outstanding health wins every day because if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. I always say health is your wealth. Number nine, would you rather have 20 wishes to give away or 10 wishes for yourself and you can't give any away? Well, that's easy for me. I do the 20 wishes to give away because I have found in my 51 young years of living that it is definitely more blessed to give than to receive. And, uh, you know, Jesus gave <laughs> for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And when we have Jesus living on the inside of us, 
Uh, we have the spirit of our Heavenly Father, and it is easy to do that. In our own flesh, we are selfish by nature, for sure. <laughs> but there is true joy and satisfaction in giving, and that is what I have found. So I would definitely give the 12, 20 wishes away. And I mean that sincerely. Number 10, would you rather have eternal wealth or superpowers? Um, hmm. I guess eternal wealth. But I will say that for those who believe in Jesus, we do have eternal wealth and we will live forever with him in heaven. So there is that. So that is my would you rather tag. Interesting questions. And so I do hereby tag D at my at D Lovely Life. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, comment below. Maybe tell me what your answers might be. I'm sure they would be different than mine because, you know, we're all different. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you soon. God bless.